Great. Decent. Yeah. Alright. Yeah. Alright. He does this every time. It's all gonna be a video. Okay. What is going on, guys? It's Diesel Not Doors here. Um, so basically today we're gonna be giving you a new video, which we haven't put up, up, uploaded in a while. It's been like a year. It's been a good year or so. We've been busy, but. We're back and we're gonna start rolling out some videos. We have plenty of ideas. Um, I actually just looked at my notes and I had 10 ideas, so be ready. And so yeah, today's video is we got a new new boat here that we turned into a bow fishing rig. And so yeah, we're just gonna walk you through it. Where do we wanna start? Let's start the motor. We'll start the front. Oh, let's start the, some of the story of how we got it. Oh, we'll just start, we'll start with story time. So, found a really good deal on a boat that we wanted to build. It's what we've been looking for. So the issue was is that we had a fiberglass bottom boat that we we're bow fishing off of, and we nearly sunk it, as you may have seen on our Instagram. My boat's about to die, so someone be ready. <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> I'm trying. Right. Okay. Oh, yeah. Yeah. We nearly sunk it more than one time but that time that we posted on instagram was really intense so that same the next day we listed it on facebook marketplace and said we're looking for a different boat by different boat i'm meaning we want aluminum bottom boats so that way we can shoot the shallows where the big carp and big gar are and yeah so this is the steal of the deal that we found right here and it's gonna be great it has the title and everything we needed. It's got two motors More power, baby. that probably are going to need a lot of work, but it's really nice. Gary, don't you think? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Besides these things. So, this is a project, but it's going to be really nice. Our idea is to have an elevated deck this high. Flush them out. And it's going to come all the way across and stop here. And so that way we can easily fit, easily fit four, four shooters at the six. front. You really can do six. Easily four, six. Because we can shoot here and then we can also shoot people here. Yeah. So we can shoot off the back. Ideally, we're going to put just some floodlights right here at the back running off a of battery. And then we're going to have a generator, um, storage compartment. Gen we'll probably cut out a slot for the generator. Um, if we don't have it back here, back we'll have it back there actually for noise and everything. And then we're going to get lights that go all the way around. The swamp eyes. Swamp eyes. We're going to get, they change colors. we're going to get very expensive lights, but yeah, for our expensive hobby, hobby, but we're going all out on this boat. So basically we're going to do new paint, new paint job, build our own custom deck, top of the line lights um we're gonna get the motor situation figured out yeah. it came with three batteries we got we only have one charger with us the other one's at my house um but we're gonna see if they work pretty sure this one and that one works but this one doesn't but i hope you're all excited for all the boat fishing <coughs> adventures that we're going to be taking and uh yeah y'all just stay tuned make sure you um tell all your friends um you know we're gonna cut that we're ending there. <laughs> That's a horrible ending. Okay. All right. It's never not mind. Ending. We're saying. No. We're, we're, now we're going to clean a few things up and we'll get back to you in a minute. Yeah, we're not ending it. We're going to clean a few things up and we'll get back to you. So. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. What is up, guys? Oh, my. You're good. Great. What is up? I did everything, chased it around. Um, yep, there's a deck. Uh, Chase will explain it to you. What? Dude, what? It's, it's for the channel, bro. Bro. What is going on, guys? We're back. Um, so anyways, basically we got the ladder all cut up. 
and we fitted it in. We brazed it, brazed the supports, and it's what it looks like. So looking at $100 ladder cut up and probably like a couple brazing rods. So, yep. What is going on guys? So it's been a little while, but just wanted to give you all a little update on the bow fishing deck build. Basically, we were gonna do an aluminum top. We ended up just getting plywood and cutting it and we just put some self tappers in to go to the ladder aluminum framing that we showed y'all. And so that is it, it is extremely sturdy. We're gonna run some carpet over it. Uh, cheap carpet, cheap wood, and Come then we're gonna run some lights over it. <clears throat> and we got the Outriggers, outdoors, lights, super great customer service. Uh, we've never used them before, but a lot of people like them, so we're gonna see um, what we think. All right. So uh, we got our lights, the Swamp Eyes from Outriggers, pretty dope. Got all the lights. But it's so bright and yellow. is wired together into one switch. Um, I'm doing something wrong. What's going on guys? Sorry for the late update. But basically, this is the deck. We carpeted it and we put on these outrigger lights. But yeah, this is how it's looking. It looks great. Um, we got the generator for the lights. And yeah, this is it. We got five. And that's it. That is the view. Uh, we haven't built any uh, racks or framing for the lights yet, but that will be something we'll do in the future. We still need to angle these down a little bit, but yeah, just want to give you all a quick, quick view. Uh, but yeah, this is just about completed. So um, I hope y'all have enjoyed the bow fishing deck build. So yeah. We switch the lights around. Uh -huh. Um, but yeah, so on this part, literally, uh, um, on the, there's Bryce. Hello. Um, I accidentally cut the wrong piece here, so I, uh, attached, um. Yeah, basically, uh, what's going on here is these panels, storage units open up this way, but we built the deck where it came right here, so it wouldn't open up. Uh, so we're basically just going to have them open up this way rather than this way. But y'all see the, the finished look on that. So this switch right here, this one, you hit it on, on this outside. I was gonna turn the front nav lights on, you show them what the nav lights look like. Yeah. And this one, we've not wired yet, so it's nothing. And this one's the anchor light, so this back one. And this next one I'm about to hit is the little freshwater pump. Pumps into the live well. Yeah, and then the last one is, um, you get the USB charger, you see uh, power. So we charge our iPhones and we're gonna build a shelf here so we can lay our phones and whatever else we want while we're sh up here shooting. And so yeah, it's it's complete mess, but we're definitely gonna give y'all a finishing show. Uh, All right guys, so um, we have plenty of stories from our, our past boats that you've seen on the channel. Um, we may do like story time with Eastland Outdoors and It'll be pretty fun for y'all to watch but this is just going to give you a quick rundown of what we got here and so yeah so we got it on facebook marketplace for really cheap it came with two motors we sold the motor and then yeah we built this deck so trailer's really nice we painted it black um this is the deck and there'll be some clips of us working on the deck and how we built it we built it out of aluminum ladder and so um this is the deck. We got Outrigger Outdoors lights. Shout out to them for uh, being expensive. This knob right here. Let's change the colors. Um, but yeah, this is our first time ever using them. And I mean, we're pretty happy with them. There's like five inverters under the deck. It's a mess. Um, yeah. So basically, we got the trolling motor. You can come, you can follow us. <laughs> So this is it, we got the trolling motor right here. You can show the trolling motor, yeah, there we go. 
We have tall it's motor, we got, we got five we lights, like we got the foot pedal. We've seen the little control system that you make. The sexy stick. The sexy stick, we're gonna look into doing that, but at this rate, we're just using the foot control. We've built this contraption here, just a little table. We can set our drinks or flashlights where we're using while we're fishing. It has a little phone charger. And a charger for flashlights or phones. We got a little fish hook and some arrows. Um, yeah, so this is the back side. We got our nice generator to run the lights, the troll motor, and then we have batteries down here, of course, for the motor and so forth. And we got some storage containers right here. Um, we put a battery in there, a battery over there. And we got some pretty nice space. Uh, Trailer lights work on this one. Yeah, so that's the motor that we've been using. It, we're currently working on it. The lower unit is pretty, uh, like the gears are all messed up and everything, so we're gonna look into fixing that. But, um, yes, yeah, so the back side is pretty nice. Um, let me show them the system over here. Yeah, you got it. So, and here's the electrical system. We have the all the switches on the outside that run through this fuse box. That way you don't have to worry about any fuses. And then it all just hooks up to one battery. So we have anchor lights, um, bilge pump, um, live well. Um, yeah, the middle right here where the life jackets are is a live well. a live well. And it has a pump to pump water into it. Um, so yeah, this is like a uh, clear water color. And then all we do is just turn the knob. And uh, yeah, as you can see, it turned to amber. So, and then I can just turn them off. Or they have selected colors up here and then if you hold it, it should turn off. Um, but yeah. Yeah, so this is the, the boat build. If you have any questions on what we did or how we did it, uh, just comment below. Um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed the video and uh, hopefully we can get y'all some cool videos of us uh, tearing it up on the water and shooting some fish. Thank y'all for watching. Like, Thanks to subscribe. Emily for recording. Thanks. Thanks, Thanks. Thanks Cameron. No. I'll put a picture That's of her okay. up right here. Um, but yeah. Yes, the boat. So stay tuned for story time with Diesel Outdoors because uh, we've rolled trucks sunk boats, killed animals, and yeah, thanks for watching. So yeah, um, thanks for watching. Um, subscribe, like, all that fun stuff, and follow our Instagram because it's lit. All right, thank you. Yay!